wouldn't say that I'm a fan of New Year's resolutions personally, but I like trying new things and improving myself, and that requires change, so why not today? It's as good a day as any other day, and if you decided that today you want to start a new habit, accomplish a new goal, or whatever, I'd like to help ensure that you're a success. Now, when we go about trying to accomplish something that we've never done before, we often aren't sure whether our actions are right or on track. We are still determining whether we should try something different or more of this or that. And here's how to reorient your compass so that you know what to do with every goal or resolution. This is your no-fail resolution strategy. Okay, here it is. Stop thinking about what you need to do. You can get lost in the forest of confusing tactics and be overwhelmed. Instead, focus on who you need to be. Now, I know you've heard this before, but it seems that it gets lost in the noise of everybody else telling you what you need to do. The five steps of this or that, the ten ways to do such and such, and then once again, it leads you down a rabbit hole. So, let me help you grasp this process and apply it to everything you want to improve. Now suppose you resolve to improve your marriage. Now if you were to describe the world's best husband, how would you do that? How would he communicate? What things would he say to his beloved? What would be his attitude when he walks through the front door after a long day? And what would be the first thing he would do? What would that look like if he were the world's greatest husband? And you see, this exercise works for wives too, by the way. Just saying. Let's say your resolution is to increase your client base. How would you show up if you were already the top building designer in your market? What attributes would the best building designer in your market have and exemplify? If you were already the best, how would you dress? How would you walk, talk, shake hands, and prepare for a presentation? When you arrived at the office, what would be the first thing you'd do? And how focused and disciplined would you be? If you were the number one, how would you present? How would you walk into and interact at a networking event if you were the number one? You see, it becomes very clear what you need to do when you look at it from the lens of who you need to be. If you resolve to lose 30 pounds and get fit, how would a fit person eat? What would a fit person choose on a menu? Don't feel like working out? What would a fit person do? If your friends just ordered nachos for the table, well, what does the fit person do in that situation? You get the picture. To get yourself to do, you must operate from who you need to be, and then everything becomes clear and very simple. So write this single sentence in your Living Your Best Year Ever journal. I am... And then finish the sentence. Apply this to all your resolutions and goals for the year. Who do you need to be to do what you have to do? And accomplish what you want. Now tell me who you need to be in the comments below and I commit to helping you to become that. Don't have a living your best year ever journal? Email me and I'll be happy to send you one. Now let's work together and make 2023 our best year ever. Thanks for watching this entire video and have a triumphant year.